are a light in the darkness, we are ensuring that everyone feels they belong. Refugees and their neighbours in Kirklees and further afield have been sharing stories with one another, using their precious objects that communicate something about a sense of belonging. Each person has responded to their partner's story at home by making shadow puppets or retelling the tale using everyday objects. They've also made a Street of Belonging banner by drawing their own houses and sending them to artist Naomi Parker to put together. Two of the storytellers are here with us today, introducing Nigel from Leeds with his miniature Torah holder. This is Joanne from Batley and a precious book given to her by her grandfather. What follows is their response to each other's stories. This is the Torah, the Jewish holy book, in a beautiful ornamental case. This is the Tunisian lady who the Torah belongs to. It is World War II. The lady is living in Tunisia. She meets a British soldier. They fall in love and move to England. This is Nigel, who leads historical walking tours about Jewish history in Yorkshire. And here he is in Bradford, in Little Germany. This is the daughter of the Tunisian lady. She has her mother's Torah with her. She wants to give it to Nigel because he will value it. Nigel is delighted to receive the Torah in its beautiful ornamental case. He loves and treasures this precious object. Nigel visits schools and shares the Torah with the children who are fascinated like Nigel. They love and treasure it also. Let's hear a story now. Now it's not one that comes from a book this time. This is a real life story, Joanne. It's about you and me and the time we spent together here in Blackpool with the sea, the wind and waves and of course our stories. The day we went to buy the Jungle Book, I remember how you loved it. The waves were so high they were splashing onto the promenade. It was so loud we could barely hear the bells from the trams as they passed. I had to keep a tight hold on my hat and you. I was taking you to Lewis's for a treat, going to the big store in this seaside town. You held on to that book so tightly when we got out onto the front together. How proudly you carried it back with us. Back home it lived in the dresser, in the drawer with my hoard of dairy milk. Whenever you came round, we'd take it out carefully and expectantly. It will be you, me, our stories, and chocolates, of course. The white seal, we'd read again and again. You remember the one? It's summer in Alaska. Seals have traveled far and wide to birth their young, but there's a danger ahead. Humans, a brave young seal named Kotick, travels to find a place where no man can harm him and his family ever again. After years of searching the seas, he finds the perfect place. This is the story of the strength love can give us when we keep others close. <laughs> 